You just wait till you see this. It is madness. Hi guys and welcome back to Archie Hamilton Racing where I've just fired up the Audi RS3. We are off for a mega day today and I'm having fun modifying this car. I bought this car roughly nearly three months, two months ago, three months ago and it's been mega. It's been really good, driving absolutely everywhere. It's all I drive at the moment. I've even got my bike in the back. The bike's just chilling. It's fine. Wheels off it, but we're fine. It's, it's good. I modified the car. I'm going to overlay, overlay some images. I added a Maxton Design rear diffuser, splitter, side skirts, and different things as well. Some bits haven't actually gone on. We forgot about a couple of pieces. But today is a bit of a stage two because we're going to get modifying again and get going even more there's more things to do um to this car we're doing the next mods today it's happening one thing which people have been saying to me is archie your rs3 mate is cool and that but you need an alcantara steering wheel it's a shame isn't it that the vorsprung doesn't come with an alcantara steering wheel i don't understand why i think the carbon cars do but the vorsprungs don't or something and in the vorsprung you don't get a flat bottom steering wheel but then in the other one which I've bought, which is a carbon uh, sport back, you get Alcantara and a flat wheel. A friend of mine, he's got the Audi RS3 and he is doing all of this section here in carbon fiber, a bit similar to this up here. The reason he's doing that is because of all the fingerprints and it makes complete sense. I'm gonna try and see if I shine my phone. Yeah. <laughs> It's a bit of a nightmare because you're there, you're touching this, you're touching that and different bits and pieces. It's a bit of a nightmare. I know my car's a bit of a mess. That is another thing which I think I'm going to sort out as well. All of these things. It's fun when you have a car in the price range of where these cars are, you can mod it. I like modding cars, going to town on them and you guys were like, you've ruined it. But this is just stage one, everyone. It will be, it'll be all right. And I've just arrived in a very cool place. We are here back again at dream car giveaways and what you can see behind me is something which you probably do recognize and that is it's my golf r someone's won it and uh yeah this is really cool the winner's just about to be picked up he's going to come here and uh he has won my golf r how cool is that amazing it's very actually weird to uh, see this car again i actually just bought the spare key up because uh, i forgot to uh, put that in the car when i actually sold the car originally um and then they bought it off the dealership and then uh, yeah here it is now but yeah this is my old car so cool to see with the vossen wheels and everything else and uh yeah you can win your dream car like this guy has with these guys dream car giveaways. I'll leave the link in the description, pin comments so you can get involved. But it is really, really cool. It's just amazing to see it. And you can probably see here, everybody, that it's different. And yes, it is different because this has a different wing. Where is this wing come from? That is insane. Look at that. I wish I had that on the back when it was under my ownership, that's for sure, because that is just made it so much better obviously i put the maxton design bits on the back on the side and also on the front as well but that on the back has transformed it completely it looks absolutely unbelievable so yeah like i say he's just about to come pick it up but what you can do is you can win your car with these guys <laughs> i'm so jealous what i'll do before we head on our way Make sure you check out the link in the description and pin comment how you can get involved and you can win so many different cars, modified cars, everyday cars, the cash alternative and everything. I'll leave the links in the pin comment and also in the description how you guys can get involved. Anyway, let's head on our way. So the RS3 is just out here. I've just arrived at Prestige Tint, but it's snowing. So uh, basically, there it is. There it is. It's snowing. It's actually snowing. This is kind of Away. Uh, I've just arrived at Prestige Tin and uh, well this is where the RS3 is going to be for a little bit because mods are happening and yes well I apologize if the mic quality is not very good because well it is like I say it's snowing but what we have is my RS3 we're all parked up in the snow uh, but we have the mods that are on it and I am super happy with them I know a lot of you guys aren't a fan you think it looks a little bit cheap etc but just 
wait until the next phase of mods and then I think you will like it. It's just, this is the start and there's so much more to go. Our kit is very temporary because we are going to do a full carbon kit. So if people are out there saying it's cheap, it's not cheap. It's a good kit. It's well designed. It's well done. But it, yeah, it's just a little bit cheaper than a carbon kit but not everyone can afford a full carbon kit so I wanted to show the car with different types of mods that you can do to it that's what it's all about it's not all about expensive stuff it's a 50 grand car we like to mix things up all right uh, but I really love that there are little fenders which we've missed out they're meant to go like here um, completely forgot about them they're meant to stick on there so soon uh, i will do that then at the back obviously this is where people think it's a bit mad which it is a bit mad but the car will make a lot more sense when we've done the other part but i like the diffuser i personally like it i wouldn't do it if i didn't like it i love the fact that you can get an rs3 it's look at the it's beefy how can you not like that but like i said before the next stage is wheels we need to we need wheels we need spaces and then everything else will make sense today what's happening i'm dropping the car off here and i'm going to be leaving this car here for a couple of days because uh prestige tint where i've just arrived these guys are leaders in doing different sort of bits to cars and i love the little sort of subtle things that they do to it and uh, that's what we're going to be doing today so you're probably thinking what are you going to do well what we're going to be doing is the wheels at the moment they are exactly how they come from factory with uh, the little sort of things in them as you can see on them just like there you can see that's just uh, it's just how they come that means it's a vorsprung edition um i'm gonna black black them out some people be thinking no but yes we're gonna black them out they're gonna go gloss black so this car will look a lot better with these wheels at the moment gloss uh those wheels going gloss black obviously the vossum wheels are coming those have an eight to six week uh production period and to be honest with you i want to do this straight away so that's what we're going to be doing so these are going to go gloss black today that's the first thing that's going to happen and then we're going to do rear tints i'm going to go a little bit dark i know you probably think you must be mad from this bp onwards you can do kind of what you want uh on cars these days so i'm going to go that a little bit darker that little bit. you see my helmet in there so there you go my bike uh, and then this is going to go limo as well so black out the rear window i like doing that at the moment you're probably thinking well you're mad it's, it's not limo at the moment it's fine and then the different bits and pieces as well which we're going to do we obviously spoke about before uh to the police we spoke about chameleon windscreens i personally quite like them and they are legal uh depending on what one you get we're going to go for the weakest one and that is uh legal um so we're going to get a chance to do that on this and that's going to have a sort of light chameleon windscreen which will make it look much better there's lots going on in here we have a lamborghini urus as you can see very cool that's actually getting a chameleon windscreen as you can see that's got a that's a strong chameleon windscreen i love it how they do the chameleon it's so cool which looks so so good look at that that's amazing that's the original color and that's the purple i think that's a nosotech purple it very much looks like a nosotech purple as you can see they do all the sort of little bits in detail making sure it's absolutely perfect going around the edges we don't miss a beat round here and that's what i really really like and then what we have here is another lamborghini urus very very cool and this is going what looks like miami kind of like a miami blue oh yes now our street time oh yeah in she comes last time i see her and then when i come pick her up it'll be looking it'll be looking subtly different i like subtle changes it's all fun oh is that splitter gonna be all right yeah see it's not too low when we do lower that that's gonna be a little bit of a problem hello james morning archie morning morning uh we're on a we're on a cruise into london we are we're in london yeah what we in we're in your KN Turbo. Uh, Very can you, nice. Can you give it the full title, please? Just checking my blind spot as you do. Yeah, KN Turbo. KN Coupe Turbo. KN, KN Turbo. KN Turbo Coupe or KN Coupe Turbo? Yes. No, yes, is, there's a, two, two options there, so yes doesn't solve it. Porsche KN Turbo Coupe. 
Like it. What colour is it? Uh, Grey. Crayon. <laughs> got you. No, you didn't get me. I got you. Uh, anyway, we're cruising in because we're going to, to a roadster meet and we're going to go and just see all the cars. There should be some really nice cars out today, so you're all coming with us. I've dropped my... Just had to notify them it was green, Archie. That's yeah. how you use a horn. That, yeah. Like, one, one bib, just a little notification. Heads up. Probably on the phone, Archie. And as you know, road safety. Don't and, use your phone and phone the wheel. And if you do it again, rude. If you do it again, I think they've had a heart attack. Anyway, what we're doing is we are heading uh, to go and see some cool cars. I've dropped my car uh, RS3 off at Prestige 10. I'll be picking that up at the end of this video. Sight, no, no, nice little subtle details. You did say to me, uh, get rid of get rid of the Vossen. No, no, get rid of the uh, things on the wheels. they got to go. So gloss black, lovely. Yeah. Different things as well. Did I say get rid of them? No, you said keep no, it. No, I said keep it. You said get rid of them. I d yeah. Do you know what? Can I say something? Yes, you can. can I have you a bit of air time? Yes, you can have air time. How much are you? Anyway, on that note, yeah. we haven't done something like this since COVID. I know. And I know it sounds maybe a little bit odd. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah. Just being social and mixing with cars is what we always used to do. We, we spent our life doing it. Every Sunday. We every Saturday, it. every Sunday, straight into London. Churn. The, churn, see the cars, see what's about everything else and that's what we're going to do today and this summer we're going to be doing way more of this i can't wait way more we may be on two wheels we live in london two wheels yeah. it's not an option i've still got toothpaste around my mouth that happens yeah that every morning every cycle you've got toothpaste around your mouth it happens it happens it can happen but at least you're brushing them at least yes if it um, wasn't now no you hadn't brushed them look oh. at this nearly nearly question bump no it's fine it's fine uh quick one um Listen. Two wheels, what's your opinion? Because you, you, you gave an idea. Now elaborate on the idea which you told me yesterday and I want everyone to, I want everyone to get in the comments and let us know what you think of this idea. So go well, on. I think we should go back to central London in the summer. Yeah? Yes, yeah, so where we live in London. Go car spotting. Yeah, we don't live in central London. We live nowhere near it. Can't afford that. Yes. And we should go basically like sort of car spotting but just vlogging on two wheels. Now that may be on road bikes. It may be on scooters, mopeds. I know you've expressed an interest to get one. I think it's a very good way to get around, as you know I do. Yes. But either way, causing havoc, carnage on two wheels, following some cool cars, bikes. There's actually a full carbon road bike in front. I might even start mo push bike spotting as well, but yes. whatever. Just but just having a GoPro on your head. Summer day. Yes, and see what, see what happens. Because there will be a calamity. And <laughs> yeah. I think an evening, night version of that, we'll call it Night Riders. Yes. Yeah. We Night riders out. like it. Ah, very good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, we go out 10 p.m. onwards up until say midnight because there'll be chaos. There's chaos. There's something London. happening. There's yeah. commotion. Following on for your police series. Yes. There'll be sirens. There'll be this. There'll be this. There'll be this. And we see it all. Look at this road bike. This is a good one, Archie. Full carbon. Good. We could be going down here. We could have our cameras on our heads, and we could be finding everything which is around. I couldn't think of better content. And when the traffic builds up at lunchtime and summer and stuff, there is no traffic. No. Because we're on two wheels. Yeah, yeah, We can cover a lot of ground in not much time. Yeah, we don't, we wouldn't be stopping in traffic. Nope. That's a silly question. Where's James and Archie? Spot us. Can't find us. Trims, rigs, bikes, tans, summer, cars, push bikes, motorbikes, scooters, you name it. It's going to be carnage. Just, I can't wait. Just like the idea. I like the idea. Just don't bring a gold tooth along. No, that's not optional. Just don't Do you know bring it. How much Rubbish. It's off camera. It's so bad. No, it's not. It's so if it was bad. bad, it'd be green. It, it doesn't work. Rubbish. It, it works for me. Doesn't know. Down that. Try and dispute it doesn't work for me. No, it works. Tell everyone about the camera. No, I'm more interested in what the hell's happened here. <laughs> <laughs> What's happened there? The bloody big pile up. <laughs> Just arrived at the Roadster meet. I'm going to do a quick sort of walk down the line of the cars that we've got. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see what... <laughs> See what we've got here? We've got this lovely Porsche GT3. I was just talking to the gentleman who owns it. He's just bought an RS2 as well. I mean, it's complete chaos. And then we'll just do literally a walk down and we'll see what we got. Still brilliant. Still brilliant, the RS6, isn't it? Very, very cool. We love them. Testarossa. Love that. Very nice Porsche. It's always some nice cars and, and there's a bit of a scene going on over here because a Merchel Argo SV has just turned up and that is causing an absolute scene. But I just love London in the summer. F-Type, we have a Lotus which is in a very nice purple colour. That is a very similar purple to my um, GT3 RS, if you remember. Then we have this. Sonu's car, which is uh, a Lamborghini Huracan, which has 
a similar bonnet to what I had on my one. Uh, sl probably slightly different body kit, uh, but it's got a very cool funky wrap down the side of it. And then we've got Tom, who's turned up in his Mersh Largo manual, which looks very cool. Very, very good. And then we have another Porsche, and then James's car, which is over there. Yes, okay. But then how good does that look? That looks absolutely unreal. And then we have Porsche GT4. Love them, love them, love them, love them. Absolutely awesome. And then, of course I'm gonna spot that. Of course I'm going to spot that. And Norris Streets alone. Okay, I'm gonna show you because it has been spaced and I'm gonna work it out what I want to do on the spacing because it does make it look much better. Now the rear arch on this has been spaced. It does make it look so much better, doesn't it? So I will be doing that. On the front, as you can see as well, um, it's spaced also. So yeah, it does make it look better. It does look good though, doesn't it? He does have a front plate, it's in the window. Okay, I've just arrived at Prestige Tint again. It's time to collect the RS3. You just wait till you see this. It is madness. Just little things which we've done, which have completely transformed it. They're such good guys. If you're interested in bringing your cars down, please do, because we have their Urus, which is here, which is just ridiculous, which is a 1016 body kit on that. It's just mad, like fair enough. Just mad, another Urus. And then here, what we have here is my RS3. <laughs> Check this out. We've done little things and it is a complete game changer. It really, really is. And I am so happy with this, honestly. You wait until uh, we do even more mods to it. So let's have a little talk about what we've done. Because like I said, I did say I was gonna do things such as the chameleon and things like that, which we have done. But how good does the new front look on the RS3? It just is, it's insane, isn't it? it just honestly, how that now? Check it out from there. How, how we collected it to now is just perfect. And what I think is a massive difference is glossing out these wheels. I know the sort of the two-tone thing, which how they come with the Vorsprung is kind of cool, but it just isn't stealth enough. So I decided that we were gonna do that. And then obviously we've done all the bits like that. Um, and let's talk about more of it. Chameleon windscreen, we do have one here. And I was talking to the policeman, Mr. Dan, and these are legal. The light going in, they pass the tests, and everything is good on that front. So, yeah, all good. That was all checked before. But, oh, look at the look of that. Absolutely madness. I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then, what we've got at the back is this makes a massive difference uh, as well, um, because this is now completely tinted out. You used to be able to see through. And then now it just looks a lot more aggressive, doesn't it? It just looks, it looks really, really good. I actually think as well, having the wheels blacked out sort of hides the fact that it needs to be sort of spaced in a weird way. Um, but yeah, it's got that sort of aggressive look. I know some people think, oh, he's gone too far. But I think now with it all being stealth, the body parts make um, a lot more sense. It's sort of not all over the place. It looks like it's kind of come like that from factory. Um, so yeah, I'm super, super happy with it. I think a lot of you are gonna like this. I genuinely do. I think a lot of you are gonna, you're gonna like it. Um, because I just, the presence of it, look at it, like but the presence of it is really, really cool and I think it's a complete game changer. I think now the Maxton bits, because it was a little bit Marmite before, some people are like, yeah, you nailed it, you didn't, but the guys here at Prestige Tin, what I like about what they do is they do little things. They don't go to town on stuff. They do little things which make a massive difference to cars. Um, and I love that, I love that. I love the fact that it's just subtle details, like the windscreen, like other things like that. I mean, I mean, look at that. I mean, that is, Mental, that, that, if you go on a list, I mean 58 grand or something like that, perfect. And it now looks like a, looks be, that looks better than the RS6. I'm gonna put it out there, it does, it looks better, it's better. Massive thanks to the guys here, they've done an amazing job, and now I'm gonna drive home in that, and I love it even more now. I've just fallen in love with it all over again, I've only had it for six weeks, but anyway, 
I hope you like it. But make sure you check out these guys, Prestige Tint. I'll leave all their details down. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think to it in the comments. I know you're gonna like it. How can you not like that? It's sick. I love it how we get a car on this channel, we rip it to bits straight away, and it turns out in two, three weeks, like that. <laughs> I love doing it. Anyway, there's still more mods to go. But I hope you've enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'll see you all very soon.